Good morning, everybody. We are here. Another beautiful day. Uh, except it does say, I gotta click on this one. It says the air is polluted. Let me see what that means. It might be just mean that the air is extremely full of pollen. Uh, let's see here. Air quality alert. Yeah, is the pollen gonna kill me today? Is that what it is? Yeah, I figured it is. Where is... Air quality levels will be unhealthy for sensitive groups during this period. Dang it, man. I'm a sensitive group. If you were in the sensitive groups category of children, the elderly, or those breathing difficulties, please monitor your outdoor activity and check air quality readings at airnow.gov. Dang it, man. To help reduce the air pollution, drive less, bike, walk, use transit, and work from home. Ah, that's nice. Also, take the pollen off your trees and don't let it go out there. My gosh, dude. Now I'm a sensitive. Now I'm in the sensitive group and I feel bad about it. I don't like it. Is that, I mean, I, technically that probably makes me even more sensitive now that I'm getting sensitive about being in a sensitive group. Guys, who do we have in the chat right now? We got Dark Bro, F I R, Kombu, F S T in the chat, baby. What's going on, Mr. Normus? Thought he was two, but he is three. Peter, Peter, Kombu, Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Peter, Dark Bro, am not selling. Hey, hey. What's going on? Am not selling. Thanks for coming back, man. Appreciate you coming back. You were here on my birthday last week. You're here again today. Appreciate you, dude. It's killing me for sure. The pollen? The pollen's killing me, man. I know that for a fact. <clears throat> Definitely. Ask, him, uh, ask my wife about the air quality in our in our bedroom. Well, hopefully the air quality in your bedroom is good, Mr. Normus. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? A keep. How are you? Pepe's dead, mate. It's rugging. Fairground fun days. I don't know if it's rugging, but we can definitely look at Pepe here in a minute. Uh, the Pepe volume, yes, definitely down. Pepe continuing to move lower. Pepe, I don't know if it's dead, but the meme coin excitement is is definitely dying off right now. Good morning, I keep. Heck yeah, skip. I keep, not skip. Where's Kenneth? You here, brother? Wayne Grill, what's going on, man? We don't know if Kenneth's in here yet, but he might be. Kenny, Kennedy, how you doing, man? <coughs> Let's come down here and see what's going on in the market. We've got AMC in the top left-hand side of the screen. Sitting at 455 on the day today. Break even, ladies and gentlemen. 850 on Shiba Inu coin. This is ridiculous. No, 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 no volume whatsoever. GameStop sitting at 2454, up 1.83% 1 on the day. 27,000 on Bitcoin. Cannot get back above this $27,200 mark. Boom, boom. Tested it yesterday, testing it today. Sitting right here at this $27,000 mark. Treading water. We do hope that it breaks back to the upside. NASDAQ, another beautiful day for the Na Guys, look, we don't have that far to go until we're touching the all-time highs again. Be careful if you think that we are still in a massive bear market. Like, look at this weekly graph. 2023 has been phenomenal. This is where we're at right now, guys. Testing this massive level of resistance right here. If we break this one, all we've got to do is go to 16, and we're at all-time highs. All we need is another 15 to 20% gain, and we're touching all-time highs again. So uh, be a little skeptical that the bear market is in full swing. If we break this next level of resistance, it could be looking pretty good if we break up that we could be on our way back to 14.6 and then of course it's just a tiny little 10 percent move higher to literal all-time highs so market's actually looking pretty good right now overall things aren't looking bad here long-term chart this is uh this is still looking up over the last couple of months, 2023 has been a solid year so far. NASDAQ looking pretty good at 13,225 points today. Dogecoin, 7.2 cents. It's above that 7.1 cent mark. Ethereum sitting at 18.94. Not too bad on Ethereum. Shiba Inu coin, 8.52. Bitcoin, 27,126. Whoa, who do we got today? We've got Dark Bro. Thank you very much for the super chat. Bat Bro, here's to you, sir. Hope the new job is going well. Here Here's to you, Clay Bro. Unlimited authorized hydrations for this stream. 
Boom, baby. And I'm going to take the first one right now. Dark bro, thank you. very much for that super chat and thank you very much for the unlimited authorized hydrations i like it we got dark bro coming in hot with a stream lab super chat dark bro man thank you very much for going directly through stream labs as well side skirting all of the youtube fees that's what i like to see man been watching your fun lives for some time now never really like to chat am not selling that's okay that's okay man you don't have to chat if you guys don't want to chat i know there's a lot of people in here that don't necessarily type in but uh appreciate you hanging out with us man and, and watching the live streams and and all of that that is involved with being a bro very good man uh thoughts on chorizo is chorizo like is this a real one i never know if you guys are doing real or if you're doing bad chad you are not banned i see you right there chad what's going on man good morning to you afternoon bros and broettes uh let's see is this a real one or is this like is this a coin or she's just literally wanting to know what i think about chorizo uh, let's see. Yeah, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the coin? Are we talking about the... Ooh, oh, man, down 14% today. $30,000 market cap. This could be a very small coin, guys, that rolls. Let's see where we're at here. This bad boy coming out at the end of May, dipping way down. Where are we at here? Wow, rolling. That's a strong gain, though, man. That's a strong gain. Extremely low volume. And this is an Ethereum token. I'm surprised this has such low volume. 69, what is this? Trillion coins outstanding. Everybody loves 420. Everybody loves 69, don't you? 69 trillion coins outstanding. This is Dark Bro level with $30,000 market cap. Uh, way too many zeros and a 4. The lows are way too many zeros and a one. So watch out for that. Could definitely drop back down very quickly, literally if anybody goes to sell it. So the fact that you're seeing like 10x gains on $14,000 volume, it indicates just how small this coin is. This one would be easily manipulable. Manipulable? Manipulable? Is that a manipulable? That just sounds wrong. Manipulable? Manipulatable? <laughs> I don't even know what the word is, right? When you, when you start to hyper-focus on a word, nothing sounds right. Is manipulatable a word? I don't even know what is going on right now. But 15% down today could be a buying opportunity if Chorizo ever does anything. Not sure it will or not. Well, I can say I'm disappointed. Luke didn't 1 million X overnight, so no Lambos for me. Kennedy, man. It's all right, because we've always got tomorrow. We can wake up tomorrow to a 1 million X. I'm making a white Russian bit. I'm out of Kahlua. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm making a right white Russian, but I'm out of Kahlua. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thought you were doing some sort of a bit there, like you were a stand-up comedian doing some Jerry Seinfeld. Pete of Fawn Kombu. Pete of Fawn Kombu. Something. Something. We've got Bree Guy. How you doing? I could go for chorizo right about now. Tony D. Heck yeah. We'll go buy some. It's right there. Took me a minute, young lady, to figure uh figure the name out. Yeah, it took me a long time. So, Peter, you still probably got it before I did, dude. We're going to ride in the pick, Pete. Yeah, it is very small, man. Is it a Mustang? Looks like a Mustang, but it's very, very small. 67 Sylvie, yeah, there you go, Sylvie GT uh, Sky, very nice, dude, it, I actually would have thought it was a newer one, but 67, there you go, did look like a Mustang to me, manipulable, is that even right, JB, or are you just messing with me, because it does not sound right, manipulable, manipulable, nah, that's, dude, there's something wrong with that one, that does not sound right, you guys say that word out loud right now, guys, I, I guarantee you, it does not sound right, there's no way. Manipulable. Tch. Dude, I'm saying fake words over here. You guys got me fake news in all morning now. Peter, a keep is Pika backwards. Yes, it is. It is Pika backwards, and it took me like 35 minutes of saying a keep to realize that a keep is Pika backwards. So, Peter, you definitely got it before I did, man. Thoughts on FK meme. A little skeptical of this name, JB. A little skeptical of this name. Uh, 
how in the world do you guys find these tiny little tokens, man? I don't know how you find these tiny little tokens. This could actually do well, man, because I'm sure people are mad at meme coins right now. So this could actually do pretty well. Let's see what we got going on. This bad boy has been out for, what, two hours now? And it is already, where is the price action? It's done $25,000 in volume. Uh, let's see. Total liquidity is already at $191,000. That's, that's not bad at all, man. I highly doubt that there's only one holder. I think that number's got to be wrong. But, dude, if you get zero risks and zero warnings, that's not bad at all, man. Solid on the go plus. Solid on the go plus, man. If this means what I think this means, this meme could do very well because people are hating memes right now. So they might buy into this. Dude, you get 50, uh, 50 Ethereum wrapped up, right? That's not, not bad at all, dude. 50 Ethereum in the liquidity pool. Um, this meme could do very well because people are hating on memes at the moment. So, yes. FK meme. Not too bad. 32 holders click. JB, dude. Uh, that could be 32 holders with 50 Ethereum in the liquidity pool right now. And zero risks, zero warnings on the on the Go Plus check there right now. Shoot, man. FK meme might be the way to go. Check it out, guys. Got shirt wearing it today on my video. Boom! Richie, did you already record the video? I got to see it if you did, man. Let's see if Richie recorded the video in his shirt or if he's talking about wearing it later. Richie's... Play. I don't even need to type that in, dude. Just click on and that's under subscriptions right there. All right, Richie did not make a video yet today, but I look forward to seeing Richie in that beautiful bro shirt. This dude's still climbing, man. This dude's still climbing. Richie, you're sitting on 203 subscribers. Guys, if you're not on Richie's page just yet, this dude is a huge bro supporter. So go out there, show this dude some love, and uh, yeah, man, just, just subscribe to his channel. He's got 203. Let's get the dude to 210 today. Come on now. You guys know what to do. Richie's Plain Talk. I'm looking forward to seeing that bro shirt in your video. You want to you wanna know who else wore a bro shirt in their video? Ape Father. This dude's got like, you know, 20,000. No, 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 no. Don't do that. This dude's got like 20,000 videos, man. You can't really go in. You can't really go and do anything. Yeah, he's got his Clay Bros shirt right there. So I would love to see it in a video, Richie. That would be perfect, man. We'll see if it happens. If it does, nice, guys. Go subscribe to Richie. I hate banks. I hate banks so much. Yes, Rozzy. What do the banks do to you today, man? Banks are good, but banks can also be very bad. Clay looks like Brie Guy. Uh, Clay, it looks like Brie Guy. You should make it sound like Brie Guy, but it should sound like Bry Guy. Oh, this is true. But it should sound like Bry Guy. Bry Guy, I'm very sorry about that, man. Very sorry. That makes perfect sense. Mr. Brian, thank you. Bry guy. I feel like an idiot. Been saying Brie guy for like who the heck knows how long now. Thank you very much. And Bry guy. I like it. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. I hate banks too. Everybody hates banks, man. Clay, seriously, brother. Why does MSNBC scare the crap out of people every day, making guys like me afraid to invest? Meanwhile, we are at all time. Let me tell you, Wayne Grow. <clears throat> Let me tell you. There's a couple different reasons they can do it. Um, One of the reasons, let's just talk strictly marketing. Okay, there's bears out there. There's a lot of bears out there. And, you know, you're going to find a lot of bears in especially in like uh, Forex groups that talk about the dollar. There's a lot of dollar bears out there, too. Um, a, a lot of this doom and gloom talk speaks directly to them. And, and they got to target that audience as well. They can't just be optimistic. 
They target the doom and gloom audience because there's always people out there that even at all time highs, their narrative changes, not from, you know, doom and gloom, we're going to die and, and everything's going to go down. Things are too high. It's a bubble. It's going to burst. This the, the greatness can't last forever. It will all come collapsing down. So there's some people who are just pessimistic. And they're targeting those people when you see doom and gloom articles. Now, there are obviously people who are foolishly optimistic as well. Everything is always going to go up. They don't necessarily believe in, in market cycles. And, and there's only good rainbows, butterflies, chipmunks, frolicking, and, and having a great day outside. Guys like that, you know, they're wrong half the time too. You need to keep a sense of realism. Here's the thing though, man. A lot of people, they don't look at it just as a marketing standpoint. A lot of people believe it is to manipulate you, and this could be true, right? I don't know their intentions in writing these articles. But if they can manipulate you, if you are manipulable, right, JB? If you are manipulable into selling your stocks, <clears throat> that is what causes that transfer of wealth from the impatient over to the patient they know and these money managers know and these big boys in these banks know that over the long term every bear market turns back into a bull market over the long term the the uptrend is what wins out if they can scare you with selling at a loss if they can scare you with selling your your stock or your coins or your gold or whatever at a lower price, they are able to continue accumulating. And dude, if they can accumulate for 100 years, remember, they're businesses. They don't die. They're not just people. They don't die out. They, they live on. And if they can accumulate and accumulate, imagine what your assets would be worth 100 years from now. If you have that sort of a mentality and you're just able to accumulate for 100 years straight, dude, you know, Eventually, you're going to have some great, great, great grandkid down the line that's going to squander your wealth and all that. Like, that's almost inevitable. But imagine the generational wealth that you could set up for your family a hundred years down the road, even if you don't necessarily get to get to enjoy it now. So there's a couple different reasons. They might be doing it. Don't listen to them. I'll tell you that. Put my 401k in meme coins. We're all going to make it. Chad, go for it, baby. I like it. Now you can change it back to Mr. Bry Guy. You can change it back to whatever the heck you want, man. Bry Guy is where it's at because I know how to say it right now. Right, Pika? Mr. Bry Guy. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so bad. Sorry about that. Especially in national parks. I know I missed something. Uh, oh, yes, national parks. The chipmunks, is that what we're talking about? Good Friday. What's going on, Johan? What are your thoughts about Super. Super is stock? I don't know what super is. Let's see. Super. Is super a stock or a coin? I don't think I've seen super. Uh, which one is it, man? We got a lot of supers out there. Which super is it? We got superverse, pure me, super cluster, super coin. Which one you liking on that one? Uh, all the bearishness reminds me of 2016. Yeah, old rounder, man. All, all this bearishness, it could remind you of 2016. It could remind you of, of 2020. There's a lot of reminiscence going on right now. But, dude, where are we in comparison to 2016? Much, much higher. Where will we be in three to five years from now? Much, much higher. So we're going to be good. Unless the United States gets destroyed, which is a possibility. And if that's the case, well, who the heck cares about money? Go all in now. Thank me later. Chad, let's get started. Listen, 48 hours. 48 hours old. RJ Outdoor Passion. 70% burned. Uh, what are we talking about? I don't know what coin we're talking about there. Hello, is it true that Blaze Toe could stop burning ship? If it's true, that means Levi took advantage of us. Okay, King. Yes, it is true. So, uh... Uh, yes, okay? I want to be careful how I say this because I don't know people's intentions. On one hand, Levi absolutely could have taken advantage of the Shiba Inu coin community. On the other hand, and I don't know if they ever made this public, 
they may have only ever intended to burn for a one month period. My guess is that they're going to move on from Shiba Inu coin, then they're going to target another coin maybe next month, get everybody from that community to buy in, and then move on to another community when they saturate the, that market. So uh, I think that that is uh, likely to happen. Here's my thoughts on that, and I do want to address that really quick. Okay. I really think, and, and I want to be careful how I say this, okay, because I truly think that Blaze Token did something good for the Shiba Inu coin community. They did burn 11 plus billion Shiba Inu coin. They're gone. They are proof that there is a market for people to buy into these other coins that want to burn Shiba Inu coin. Now, I don't know if it's because of, you know, Pepe rolling in price and, and people were more willing to buy memes or kind of what the deal was. But they are proof that burning Shiba was a good marketing tactic and it worked. There's a void now. Imagine if, if Walmart just went out of business. They just said, no, nah, we're, we're done selling things. Well, obviously somebody can step up and sell things now. If Amazon said, we're done, if, uh, you, you know, whatever, you use whatever analogy you want. I think that anybody, us included, could create a coin that 5% of the tax burns Shiba Inu coin, 5% of the tax goes to a developer's wallet, and we sit here and we make $100,000 a month. You know, Levi and those guys made hundred grand for themselves in May. And, and I don't want to sound, I don't want this to come off as sounding greedy or anything because clearly people are willing to buy it. They can, they can do whatever they want with their money, but I would love to, to bank a hundred grand a month creating a coin that burns Shiba Inu coin. I would love that. And, and if Levi drops out, uh, I mean, that has left a void in the Shiba Inu coin community. Why couldn't? The bros create a coin, bank a hundred grand a month. I mean, dude, I, I don't understand why he's got to stop doing it. He could have made another hundred grand next month and burn another hundred thousand dollars with a Shiba next month. I don't know, man. I, I would be, I would be extremely happy to make a hundred thousand dollars this month with a coin that burns Shiba Inu coin. I'd be happy. And uh, June might just be that opportunity because that dude, for some reason, stopped doing it. I don't know why you got to give up on, on something that's doing well. Investing so many great, great, great grandchildren can squander my wealth in yachts and sports cars. Chad, man, there you go. Went back, went to the bank to redeposit, and they want me to wait another 24 hours for it to clear. Oh, my God. Rosie, dude. Banks. Now, let's see. A mobile deposited a check for my rental property mortgage with my name on it, but it got declined because it didn't recognize my name. Oh, my God. Went to the bank to redeposit and want me to wait another 24 hours for it to clear. <laughs> Dude, banks are idiots, man. Banks are idiots. I, I hope you let them know at the bank that they're an idiot. Uh, let's see. Pancake swap. Pre-sales on pink sale. RJ Outdoor. That's what you were talking about, man. Good, because I had no idea what you're talking about. Thanks very much for clearing that up. Ray, you can convert ETH on Coinbase wallets. No bears in California. We better. I mean, there's probably bears everywhere, man. Bears just pessimistic people. I have bears in my backyard. Kombu, I would love a bear in my backyard. I would love one. I don't have any bears in my backyard. I've got raccoons. I've got, let me show you this, dude. I got to show you guys this picture right here. I took a picture of the raccoon last night. This guy's amazing, man. This guy is amazing. Hold on. I gave him some popcorn last night. This dude loves popcorn. Uh, I got to pull it up. Let's see. No, I want this one. And this is my boy. That's my boy right there. Oh, hold on. Got to go big. That's my boy right there. You see that? He's like, oh, thank you very much for the popcorn, Clay bro. Yeah, that's my boy. Every night, 9, 9.15 to 9.30, my dude's coming for a snack, and he gets a snack. I like that guy. 
I'm gonna be he's gonna let me pet him soon. I know he is so if uh, You know if I come in the live stream and we're missing a finger here pretty soon It's because the raccoon took it off, but for right now at least we're good to go um, But yeah, if we if we start to say let's get started and I'm missing part of my nose or something It's because the raccoon decided to bite it right off we have black bears. They're friendly, though, but they don't eat pretzels around... Why don't you eat pretzels around bears, man? Bears like pretzels? Clay is having a serious talk about Blaze, and we were talking about grizzly bears. <laughs> I just want to make 100 grand a month, JB. I just want to rip 100 grand a month, man. Uh, Pika, FK meme, not listed on Coinbase. Correct. Raid De Silva. What you're going to need to do, man, if you are actually interested in FK meme, you are going to need to go to, well, you're going to need Ethereum somehow. I think it was an Ethereum coin. You're going to need Ethereum. You're going to need to hook your MetaMask or your Trust Wallet, whatever you got, DeFi wallet wise. I guess Coinbase wallet might work. Um, you're going to need to hook your wallet up to Uniswap. Uniswap, you're going to copy that. Don't just type in FK meme because there might be like 50 of them. You're going to need to copy that contract address and, and buy it that way. So you would go through Uniswap and attach your wallet to Uniswap and swap your Ethereum for FK meme. Uh, that's why banks are gonna be done. Tony D, man, one day they just might be. Leave an announced today that he's going to work on layer two utilities for Loom. <laughs> I knew it, dude. I didn't crack it. Were you in here yesterday, man? Were you in here yesterday? Dang it, that's what we talked about yesterday, dude. Oh my gosh. Been with this bank since senior year of high school. I'm 32 years old now. I'm changing banks now. This mistake by them could have a major effect on my credit score. Yeah, Rosie, that, that that really does sound stupid, dude. I've actually had the same bank account. I've got a couple different banks now, but I've had the same bank account since senior year of high school or, or whatever. And uh, yeah, man, I I completely get your frustration with them, and they don't even care. You know what I mean? That's the bad part. They don't even care that you have been a, a bro with them for the last, like, 20 years, man. That's the sad part. I really think that's stupid on their part. And if you see drool coming out of Clay's mouth, you know I have rabies, ladies and gentlemen. And until you see that drool coming out of my mouth, I will probably not go to the hospital for a rabies shot. Just don't want it. Whoa, brother, that thing is dangerous. What are you, Steve Irwin? It's got rabies, bro. Dude, you sound like my mother, Wayne Grow. This, this raccoon does not have rabies, man. This does not have rabies. If he had rabies, he would be insane. He's not insane. He, he's, he's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. I promise you, he's a good guy. Rozzy, could you tell us the name of this... POS Bank, no no way possible, Rozzy. Heck yeah, credit scores are not associated with banks. Yeah, but Mr. Brian, I think he was talking about paying his rent or paying his mortgage. And, uh, you know, if the check doesn't clear, he's not going to be able to pay his rent. If he's not going to be able to pay his rent, they might put a claim out in that sense. So I, I don't think it's necessarily just the bank that, that would be hitting his credit score. I think it was because he, he may... I don't know if he's going to miss a payment or not, right? But he may end up missing a payment or something because the check didn't clear in time because they wanted to clear an extra 48 hours, and it sounds like he's down to the wire and stuff like that. So uh, I think that might be why he's, he's concerned about uh, his credit score there. Uh, you know what I think about that? Dark bro, what do you... <laughs> Dark bro, man. Thank you very much for the super chat. Dark bro carrying the load today, man. Dark bro coming in with that Streamlabs super chat. Dark bro coming in with the YouTube super chat. Dark bro, thank you very much. And you know what, Dark bro, just because. Dark bro with that authorized hydration. I don't think I had any authorized hydration yesterday. It's Pepe dead. YNB, let's look at Pepe real quick, man, because Pepe's volume is is down. Pepe is not doing as well as Pepe once was, man. 125 points per coin on Pepe here. Is Pepe dead? No, not necessarily, but it could be dying. Okay, let me put it that way. Any coin that's got a $500 million market cap is not dead. Any coin that's doing nearly $100 million a day in volume is not dead. But... This price action right here is not good. 
It's extremely stagnant. The good news is it's maintaining this level. Support, support, support. If it dies out, yeah, it could come that back down to a $50 million, $100 million market cap very quickly. I will say this. The meme coin excitement and the meme coin rally that we had last month, that excitement's not here anymore. That's just, that's plain and simple. That excitement's not here anymore. Um, I, I don't, it's very hard to say that something is dead though. You want to see something dead? Look at Bytecoin. This coin's dead, man. Okay. This coin's dead. $7,000 in volume. This bad boy was rolling back in 2017. This is this is actually one of the first coins that I mined back here. And you can mine it from a laptop and, and walk away with a lot of coins. Rolled up to nearly two cents in 2017. Sitting here at, what, four zeros and a three right now. So I say this is an example of a dead coin. Had a tiny little rally in 2021 here. But no volume, nobody cares about this coin, nobody talks about this coin, and it's got a $6 million market cap doing $7,000 a day in volume. Could it bounce back up? Absolutely, man. Could it bounce back up to 004? Could it drop two zeros? Absolutely. Keep this on your radar if you guys want to, but a bite coin is a, or could still be, I do not know, a mineable coin if you guys are interested in it. But this is uh, this is one that has been around for a very long time and has since been forgotten. So watch out for that one. He says BCN is not dead. Brian, Mr. Bride Guy, I hope that it's not dead, right? But the only reason I say that is because 2017 was phenomenal and people forget about things. And, and it does seem as though people have drastically forgotten about Bitcoin because it is only doing $7,000 a day in total volume. $7,000 a day in total volume is a drastic difference from something like, uh, like Pepe that's doing $100 million a day in volume. So clearly... If it gets an injection of volume, it could do very well, like it did in 2021. But I hope that Bitcoin's not dead, man. I, I, I like Bitcoin. I like Bitcoin. I'm just saying that because the volume has drastically fallen off over the last couple of years there. So let's come back out here. By the way, thank you, Clay, for the shirts. Razi, absolutely, man. I'm glad you got that shirt, dude. Everybody, the, except for Moji and J-Bones, should have gotten their shirt by now. If you did not, let me know, and, and I'll start looking at tracking numbers. But uh, I, I don't know whose tracking number is who, so I got to look through like 25 different tracking numbers. But if you want a shirt last week on my birthday, they were all shipped out on Saturday, except for J-Bones and Moji. So you guys all should have your shirts. So what does the raccoon think of Sheba? Uh, I have no idea. That raccoon only thinks of food, okay? The raccoon makes his rounds, man. He comes over here. He, he eats whatever bird seed is left in the little dish that I got out for Chip Bro. And then he comes over and gets whatever I'm giving him. Popcorn, chips, hot dog, fruit, whatever I got. He gets that on the steps. And then when he's done with that... He goes over and he climbs up my little shepherd's hook and rips the bottom off of my plastic bird feeder and any bird seed that was left in there from the day falls down onto the ground. Well, clearly eats that up. And after he's done with that, he comes back over to the step to make sure that I didn't put any more food out for him. And if I didn't put any more food out for him, he, he basically leaves and goes somewhere else. But I love it, man, because every time the dude eats some chips, every time the dude eats some bird seed, every time he's done eating, he walks over to the little water dish I got over there and washes his hands and takes a drink, man. That raccoon makes sure his hands are clean. I love that guy. Uh, I talked about it. Made some money uh, last month with... Dude, you made some money last month with Bitcoin. Very good, dude. I'm going to YOLO on Bitcoin. Do it, Wayne Grow, man. Do it. Now you could have 100x next bull market. Bitcoin, I really don't know if Bitcoin is dead. Bitcoin is like not doing anything, but you could resurrect the dead, right? It could absolutely be a zombie. Razi, all the cool, cool kids were doing it. Oh, backwards name. Gotcha. Someone say AMC halted. Uh, do not think that AMC is halted. It looks like it's trading right here. Was it halted? Doesn't seem like it was even halted today. 
seeing every minute on the tick there. AMC sitting at 456. Doesn't seem like a halt to me, man. Unfortunately, stagnation on AMC there. <coughs> Five hundred thousand dollars market cap, one million dollars incoming core market cap listing tonight. RJ, RJ, man, what do you? What's that coin again? I'll pull it up here and look at it. If I can get it pulled up, it's named the Raccoon. I suggest Broski. Yeah, Broski, not a bad name. Um, name the Raccoon if you want, man. Name the Raccoon if you guys want. My my friends are calling him Coon Bro, because everything is a bro, right? Clay Bro, Chip Bro, Coon Bro. Whatever you want to call him, though, man. I I don't know. I got a couple other chipmunks too. Little Tail, original Little Tail. There's two different ones. And I got another one. I think I'm going to name him either Itch or Itchy. This dude is constantly scratching, man. And it's funny when he scratches, too. He scratches for like five minutes when he starts scratching. And he's just a tiny little guy. He's a tiny little guy with a little brown mark like on his side right here. And I think I'm going to either call him Itch or Itchy. Because he goes in between these two trees. And when these things scratch, dude, they're... You know, they just go at it as hard as they can. And this dude goes, like, it scratches so hard that he, like, almost does backflips while he's doing it. So I'm going to call him Itch or Itchy. Uh, but there's, like, five little babies. i got to figure out their names. We got Little Tail, Original Little Tail, which I can tell the difference between the two because Original Little Tail is, like, beaten up, man. He, he's got some battle wounds, that's for sure. Chip Bro, by far the biggest of them all. There's another chipmunk. You could, let me tell you this. You could easily tell the difference between boy chipmunks and girl chipmunks. All right. Uh, I will say that. It's very easy to tell the difference between a boy chipmunk and a girl chipmunk. This new baby boy chipmunk, dude, he thinks he is tough. And I'm telling you right now, he is about to learn a lesson. So, Little Tail, she eats out of that dish all morning. And this dude, this little baby boy, comes out of nowhere. And tries to run her off this morning. She kind of lets him. And this idiot's got the nerve. Dude, Chipro is in the bowl eating. This dude has got the nerve to come in and karate kick Chipro while he's eating. That is the fastest way that you can lose a tail. That I will tell you right now if you want to become another little tail. Um, and then the other day, there was a squirrel. A big old fox squirrel. Eating out of uh, the dish. This little chip, this little boy, bro, man, he comes over there and karate kicks this giant fox squirrel. This dude's asking for it, man. But I, I don't know. I, I gotta find. I gotta figure out a name for him too. I don't necessarily like him too much because he, he thinks that he can attack the. You know, he thinks he can attack the OGs around here, Little Tail and Chip Bro and all that. But uh, I don't know, man. He seems like he's gonna be part of it. I don't normally do this, but yesterday I opened a 15x Bitcoin long at 26,900. Pray for me. Oh my God, dude. Let me say, let me tell you this, old rounder, bro. 26.9. You're above 26.9 right now. Put a prop. Put a. And I don't know how much of your position that was. I don't know how much of your portfolio that was. You're up. I am. Uh, I'm convinced, dude. I'm convinced that. Any leveraged position should just be viewed as a scalp. Do yourself a favor right now and put your put your stop loss on at 26,950. Put it on at 27 if you want to put it on at 27. Put your stop loss on there right now. I'm just telling you. You know, we're testing this this level at 27.2 today. If we get rejected off 27.2 again, there's a very good chance you're right back down to 26.9, dude, in the next hour. So, just watch that. I, I, you're up right now. You're making some money. Any leverage position like that is solid. So, I didn't say Google. What the heck's up with that? Uh, just be careful with that one. That, that's a high leverage, man. I don't want to see you lose anything on that. Hey, Clay, what's your thoughts on DTH20, the Doge Gas Token? Uh, Mr. Brian, I haven't looked into that at all. So uh, I really, I mean, I don't have any thoughts on that because I don't know anything about it. I haven't looked into that yet. Uh, Chipmunk UFC live stream soon. Dude, they'd be hard. They'd be way too hard to keep on, on camera. They're wild, man. They, they chase each other over the, the entire yard. Uh, oh yeah, Brack. That's what he wants to see. Brack is the pre-sale getting listed on Coin Market Cap tonight.
but right now we've got current listings down 37 percent if you guys are interested in brack apparently it's getting listed on coin market cap tonight um it's a bnb coin there is a warning out there let's see what the go plus warning is and eh, not ridiculous taxes though two percent that's not ridiculous Transaction tax can be modified, so just watch out for that one. They could change it. If they want to rug it, they can change it to 100% sell tax and, uh, you know, screw people up that way. But, I mean, if you want to take a take a little bit of a chance on it, take a little chance. It's on $151,000 in volume, and they've got 495 BNB in the liquidity pool right now. Or, sorry, that's volume. They've got 338 BNB in the liquidity pool right now. You guys can check uh, Brack out if you want to check Brack out. Apparently, it's done a pre-sale, and it's going to be listed on Coin Market Cap tonight. Don't mess with Chip Bro. I'm telling you right now, don't mess with Chip Bro. You're going to become a little tail, and that dude is messing with Chip Bro. Let's see. You should become a vet. Clay, not finance. Look at his racket. Then invest on this side. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Um, I, I really don't know. So, I like animals, okay? But I truly don't think that I ever could be a vet. I, I, I don't think that I could, dude. You know, one, one of the things about being a vet, I mean, you got to put dogs down. You got to put cats down. You got to put these animals down, man. There's, there's no way that I would want to be able to do that on a daily basis. Like, dude, I would rather see a devastating red candle every single day and watch money disappear than watch some kid come in and hold his dog is I gotta put a, a shot into that dog's neck and watch that dog die in that kid's arms. Nah, dude. I'd rather watch money disappear than, than watch pets die. Um, even if you could save some of them, yes, that's great. I, I just, I really don't think that I could. I don't think I could do that part of the, the vet. Also, thank you for seeing and comment and checking it out. Yeah, RJ, man, that's what we that's what we're here for, dude. Everything is as interactive as possible. Definitely, man. Um, I and I have no problem looking up new coins, looking up any of these little coins like that, and bringing them to people's attention. Why? Because nothing here is a recommendation from anybody to buy a coin. You guys are all adults. You're all making your own decisions. You're all making your own money. You can spend your money on whatever the heck you want to spend your money on. So if you want to buy a Brack, buy Brack. If you don't want to buy a Brack, don't buy a Brack. Simple as that, man. It's okay. It's a tiny percentage of my portfolio, 0.5 or so. Okay, good deal. Old rounder. You, then I'm not as nervous, man. If you were like, YOLO, you, you know, if you screamed YOLO last night and you're like, I'm going in, man, and you 15x leveraged your portfolio on a, a Bitcoin trade, Oh, gosh, dude. You'd have me all nervous right now. Oh, thank goodness. It's only half percent. You, I don't even care if you lose it now, man. I mean, don't lose it, though. You're, you're up. There's no... Just get back in, man. Put it at 29... Put it at 26, 9, 10 or 26, 9, 20 or something. And, and just make some money on it and get right back in the minute later. Make something. <clears throat> Let's see. Euthanizing animals daily. No chance I could be a vet. Yeah, dude, no, JB, man, that, that, that wouldn't be for me. Even if I could save an animal, I'd, I'd still have to deal with that on a daily basis. Not going to be happening, man. Uh, let's see, I know thanks. So, yep, nope, I would rather go wrestle a crocodile. Now, that sounds like something I'm interested in, Dark Bro. Let's make it happen. I'm a bro. Mui, super fly. What's going on? You are a bro, dude. I like it. Uh, croc, croc bro, bro, I'm telling you right now, dude. I, I would be a little scared, depending on the size of the crocodile, okay? If I could if I could easily bop it on the head, like if it got too close or just, you know, like push it push its nose away, maybe not. So if it's like a little one, two-foot crocodile, all right, that's just the big lizard. But, dude, if you're talking like a 12-foot croc coming up on me, uh, no thanks. I would not want to feed that guy. Uh, government must step in to protect us from our own stupidity. So many comments I could make on that one, Chad, but uh, I'm just going to leave it at this. No. Some people just allow them to be stupid, man. No, don't let the government come in and protect you from your own stupidity, man. Would you pick up a snake? Wayne Grow. Very good question. Let me see something. I watched enough Crikey, uh, the Ur Ur Crikey, it's the Irwins. I think I could wrestle a croc. Yeah, dude, I think I could actually wrestle a croc. 
as well. I wouldn't know how to wrestle a crack, but I got to show you. Let me see if I can find this. March, April, I think it was May or June of last year. I'm looking for something. This guy says, would you pick up a snake? I got to find this. This picture really quick. Chipmunks, yes, chipmunks are good. But, no. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to see if I could do this. How does, does Google's AI know? Ah, uh, Google's AI is good, dude. Google Photos, man. The answer to that question is right there. The answer to that question is right there. Yes, I would pick up a snake. I mean, I didn't get any pleasure out of that, but yes, I'd pick up a snake. Uh, let's see. JB, I missed that guy. I think everybody does. J Bones is late, but J Bones is here. What's going on, man? Beer and burritos in the back always. Mbot offering in three, offering three in ten days. We got a snake pig. Garter snake. Yeah, Wayne Grow is a little garter snake, man. Nothing big on that one. Um, the worst that's going to happen with a garter snake is you're going to smell after you pick it up. Garter snake's defense, I mean, technically they can bite if they're really upset, but a garter snake's defense, they emit a musty odor. So, worst case, your hand's going to smell for a little while, and then you go wash it. I mean, who the heck cares if your hand smells? You literally just picked up a snake. You should expect your hand to smell. Special Ed, what's going on, man? Crypto Dreamer! Boom, baby! Thank you very much for this Super J. Crypto Dreamer says, Clipro, thanks for the t-shirt, my man. I'll be rocking it this weekend. Mm, mm, mm. We should all rock our bro shirts this weekend, man. We got a bro gang walking around on Saturday. Everybody's wearing a bro shirt. If it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Crypto Dreamer, man, thank you very much for that super chat. Absolutely appreciate it. And uh, I, I, I listen, listen, I don't know who all won shirts, actually. I think I still got this. Oh, yeah. Dark Bro got a shirt. Ape Father got a shirt. Rich Plain Talk got a couple shirts. I uh, got a shirt. King Mama got a shirt. DD214 got a shirt. Kristen got a shirt. Gorilla got a shirt. Pudgy got a shirt. Crypto Dreamer got a shirt. Christian got a, sh Christian got a shirt. Scott Kombu got a shirt. Frank got a shirt. Rozzy got a shirt. Nufo got a shirt. JB got a hoodie uh, and a shirt. Kennedy got a shirt. Tim's daughter got a shirt. Pika got a hoodie and a shirt. Caesar got a shirt. Slayer JC got a shirt. Trapper got a shirt. Ray De Silva got a shirt. Moji does not have his shirt yet. And uh, J Bones did not get his shirt yet, but those are the guys that should have shirts. So if you if your name was just red and you did not get a shirt, well let me know because you're supposed to have a shirt. <clears throat> Let's see, how do I get a shirt? Special Ed. Well, Special Ed, man. Uh, if you wanna, if you, I don't have any other shirts right now. I gave away everything except my adult smalls and women's sizes. I still have women's shirts, and I still have, uh, like, men's smalls. But I did a giveaway. Last Friday was my birthday, and, and I did a giveaway. Um, so technically, you should have been here last Friday if you wanted to win one. A shirt? Where to get them? We super fly. You should have won one last week, man. I'll probably do some more giveaways. Um, I don't really have any. Like, you could buy them, but I don't have any shirts right now. So don't worry about buying them. Don't worry about getting a shirt just yet. Uh, wish you were here on my birthday last Friday. Both live streams gave a ton of shirts away. But, um, yeah, I don't have any. Unless you were an adult small man, I, I don't have any any shirts to be able to give away right now. Got my word of this weekend. DD214, perfect, man. Everybody's wearing a bro shirt this weekend. I painted bro on my chest. Matt, yeah, dude, Matt, your name was on here. But unfortunately, it says Matt lives in the UK. And not that I have anything against people that live in the UK, but I do have things against, you know, spending $30 on postage and not even getting a guarantee that it's going to be getting there for that price. So unfortunately, I, I didn't send anything overseas or internationally um, because of that, that giveaway there. It was, it was simply people in the U.S. Thanks again. That oh, yeah. J Bones, man. Except your shirt ain't been sent yet, man. Your shirt ain't been sent yet. So don't thank me until you get it. Thanks again, Clay. A keep. Oh, yes, bro. Juicy pants. We need some juicy pants with a little B-R-O on the bottom. I like it. If it sounds like something you're interested in, 
Let's get started. All right, I'm getting a bro tattoo straight across my back. Dark bro, don't do it, man. Don't, don't do it. Do not do it. I would take three adult smalls for me. Special Ed. Well, if you know a seamstress, they can add those three adult smalls together. I think we can make it happen, man. I know, I know. All good, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, J Bones and, and Moji are basically going to be waiting until next birthday to get their giveaway shirts. Now I feel bad, but yeah, uh, uh, when I when I don't go do it the first day that I say I'm going to do it, they might be waiting for another week, another two weeks another three weeks three weeks turns into a month a month turns into three months three months turns into a half a year half a year turns into two years gosh dude i'm like 40 years old and i'm finally sending out j bones and mojis shirts crazy dark bro do it man yo no guys don't listen to kombu no tony d no man you guys don't go out and get a bro tattoo anywhere that's insane my gosh Little bit of market recap right now. I mean, we got AEMC sitting sideways all day, $4.55 right at break even. Shiba Inu coin sitting sideways, no action. GameStop, $24.44. Bitcoin sitting right there, <coughs> making me nervous about that 15x leverage position, sitting at $27,081. The NASDAQ. Beautiful performance today, $13,252 high and $13,245 current. 7.2 cents on Dogecoin, 18.90 on Ethereum, 8.51 on Shiba, Bitcoin, 27.83. We've got Molinado sitting at 75 cents, Sundial a buck 50 flat, CEI dollar five, the Spy sitting at 4.27, BBIG 2.25, uh, Highcraft Mining sitting at 33 cents, Netflix still above 400 dollars per share, QQQ 355, Ape sitting at a buck 60, and MPW all the way back up to eight dollars and fifty cents, 20 percent gain off these seven dollar low that we've been touching so not bad jumping back up about a buck 40 that is it's a nice 20 percent gain from the seven dollar lows and 20 percent gain plus your what 15 percent annualized dividend that you're receiving on mpw right now watch out for mpw though if the fed comes in and increases interest rates again i am sure that mpw is is going to be getting hit and it's probably going to get hit pretty hard if the interest rate hikes happen at this next meeting or even at the following meeting, if interest rates are plateauing, that is a great sign for for MPW, for banks, for any REIT that is out there. No regrets, Dark Bro. No regrets ever. Rotat right above your Litecoin. <laughs> it just goes on down the line, dude. Bro, Litecoin. Pepe, what, what's his uh, loop network, mplay, he likes all those those lottery ticket plays out there, he throws loop network and uh, mplay on there, oh my gosh, well, are there any animals you don't want to see around your house, no, I mean, no, like, no animals that, like, legitimately live here, uh, I guess if there was a tiger or something, I'd be a little concerned to see a tiger around my house, um, Gosh, dude, uh, like venomous snakes. No, I don't want to see any venomous snakes around here. If you consider those animals, uh, yeah, like nothing with venom, man. And then I hate wasps too. Like get all the wasps out of here. I, I catch all the wasps on fire that are, that are out there. I don't want to see any of those guys, but venom, goodbye. Other than that, no, I don't really care. Like, there's what animals are even bad in Ohio, man? There's no, there's no bad animals in Ohio. You can take them all. I got a peek, bro, on the left peck. There you go, man. Get it all going on. You got to get it right above the heart. I like it. Uh, that's why I want the sticker a keep. You've got it, man. You've got it. You're gonna get a big yellow sticker. It's right there, man. Barbecue sauce is so delicious, <laughs> Chad. Man, I'm glad you like your barbecue sauce. Well, these streams are hilarious. I'm waiting for the bull market. And Tony D, that's the thing, man. You know, some people they could sit there in their streams all day long, and well, AMC is down and it's touching a level of support, but seems to be barcoding a little bit. Shiba Inu coin has no volume. It's just inside. You know, you could go over the stocks and look at them, but. My gosh, dude, what are you supposed to do when everything isn't ripping higher? How exciting can a stream possibly be? Kobu, <laughs> like going for life, tap. Oh, tat. Uh, we know he's already got one of those. He just won't show it to us. 
All right, here's the deal. If Luke reaches a dollar by 2026, I'll get a bro tattoo. Dark bro, don't make that deal with me, dude. Make it with yourself, Raymond. I'm not telling you to go get a bro tattoo. Make that deal with you or anybody else, man. Don't make it with me. Huh. A keep. I like it. It's been six months since I started listening. Thanks, bros and broettes. Tony D, absolutely, man. And, and I hope you guys do enjoy the live stream. You know, it does seem like a little sporadic. And we've got a lot of people that always come in and say, what the heck is this live stream about? This live stream's about communication. This live stream's about just interaction. This live stream's about having some fun. And yes, and making some money, man. But it's it's all about whatever is going on, and and being inter as interactive as possible. No joke, J Bones. It's an extra large sticker. No, it really is. I mean, dude, I'm not some tiny person, and this is not just like a. a if you're gonna be putting it on your shirt, dude, it's like how big that is. It's huge, man. You, you need a trapper. You need a tra not AMC trapper, but you need a trapper for school, and then you need a. Put that right on the front of your trapper at school. Big old notebook, right on it. You can't even. It's like it's too big to put on your your uh, laptop, man. That's how big it is. It's giant. That's never mind. Uh, and if that happens, all the bros can come watch me get it. Very nice. Depends on where you're getting it. I'm sure if all the bros are gonna be watching it. But let's get started. Get one letter each B R O on the back. We need three. <laughs> Oh, gosh, dude. And then you guys can go to all the sporting events, and you guys can just be bros for the rest of your life. And, and you know, take your shirts off of the game and have bro on there. So everyone is getting a bro tattoo. Cliff, no, DD214, it is not happening. Uh, like, you're not going to see me get it. Back tat at Chip Bro, hugging Nick F, holding a poster of Clay Bro, Q&A on the computer in the background. Now a keep. Whew. I think you need a very talented tattoo artist to be able to come up with that one, but definitely sounds like something I'm interested in. Hurrah! It's going to go on the back, nowhere else. All right, good deal, Dark Bro. That I can deal with. D214, I'll start, then Clay Bro can do it. There you go, man. Let's let's uh, just make me last, man. Make me last. Afternoon, y'all. Just logged on. Any thoughts on meme coins? Just hanging on or finished? Pumba wrecked me. Yeah, Craig, man. So uh, the, the excitement is definitely fading on meme coins right now uh, a very interesting one that JB brought to our attention today is FK meme I think you can pretty much assume what that stands for and what that means but F where's it even at I don't even know why it didn't show up here huh I don't even know why it didn't show up FK meme is one that is probably taking advantage of a lot of people's sentiment on the current meme market and seems to be doing very well over the last two hours here. FK meme, it seems like the numbers are slightly wrong because JB said it's got 32 holders, but zero warnings. Zero warnings from Go Plus means that it could be a pretty safe token. Uh, I just don't know if they have enough volume or enough... Enough people know about them yet to to really make a difference, but yeah, man, that might be something that takes advantage of people's anger towards meme, meme coins and the fact that people have been losing money in meme coins. And Chorizo, yes, Chorizo down 16% right now, but that could be another one with $30,000 market cap that may be able to rip higher. Bro tattoo, bro tattoo, bro tattoo, bro tattoo. If Luke gets a dollar, get a bro tattoo on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> dead on his neck <laughs> oh god i don't doubt that you guys will man and you'll take your million dollars and you'll go out there and you'll have a nice bro tattoo on your back on your neck all of it guys it is somehow i'll do knuckles if luke goes to adele yeah you guys are all getting up. now i feel now i feel like there's gonna be a lot of bros so I, i'll just give you guys all t-shirts all right if terrell in a class that goes to adele i'll give you another t-shirt and you can wear the bro and then when you're wearing that bro you, you can wash the other bro and you don't have to have it permanently on your body we get a fake bro tattoo yeah dd214 man i should order some fake tattoos so you guys can all test it out before you go out and get a real one Guys, it's 1 o'clock. We're going to do the do some shout-outs here. We will be back this afternoon with a live stream at 4 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to come back and hang out with us then. 
appreciate all of you guys for making the live stream as fun as it is. It goes extremely quickly. So glad to have each and every one of you in here. Get your names in there. We'll do these shout outs and then we will be back this afternoon. Tony D, man. Enjoy your afternoon. Dark Bro, enjoy your afternoon. Dark Bro, Dark Bro, Dark Bro. Craig, enjoy it. We've got J Bones, baby. A keep. Chorizo Fo Show. We get J Bones, man. Matt, enjoy your evening, afternoon. Combo with DD214. Dark Bro, Tony D, man. Chad, enjoy your day. We got Pika. I mean, a keep. SD, see you later, man. Dark Bro, Craig. Boom. Loving it, man. We got Matt. Oh, no. That was this one. I had the thumb in. That's this one. Matt, see you later. Hopefully, you're here this afternoon. Mr. Brian, see you later. Dark Bro, Kombu, DD214, Wayne Grow, J Bones. All of you guys, you know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Oh, oh, Dark Bro, you scared me on that one. Dark Bro, I don't know if you got an ad or not, <coughs> but if you're still in here, thank you very much for the near way too late super chat. <gasps> oh, Dark Bro, man, I appreciate the super chat coming in late on that one, but I love it, dude. And a reminder for the authorized hydration. Dark Bro, thank you very much for that super chat. And, and I didn't get a shout out to Old Rounder, man. Peace out to you, Crypto Dreamer. Enjoy it. Tony D, see you later. A keep Dark Bro. Mr. Brian, enjoy your day. Kombu, Kombu, all of you guys. You know what time it is, Dark Bro. Thanks again, man. Crash, see you later, Dark Bro. If you want to say it with me, say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Oh, keep. Thank you very much for the super chat for Dark Bros face tattoo. Now that sounds like something that I'm interested in. Dark Bro, if Terra Luna Classic goes up to $10 and you're still holding face tattoo, yes or no? Yes or no, Dark Bro. Terra Luna Classic goes to 10 bucks, man. We hitting a face tattoo or does that have to be M Play or Loop Network rolling back up to a dollar? <laughs> A keep. I love it. We're starting Dark Bro's face tattoo fun. Oh, God. Dark Bro, don't do it, man. I can't even. I don't even know if I can joke about it. He says done. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are we starting, Pika? What are we starting? A keep. Thank you very much for the super chat. Crash, man. See you later. Dark Bro, enjoy it. Don't do anything crazy, Dark Bro. DD214, Dark Bro, Dark Bro. All of you guys know what time it is. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Till the next time. Hope to each and every one of you. Have an awesome day.